Hello and welcome back subscribers and welcome newcomers to another Sunday speed paint. Today I'm going to be designing some outfits for fun for my character Vixie. I thought this would be fun and if you would like to draw along with me and make some of these outfits for your characters, tag me in them on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. The first thing that I did was I created a model template, just the same pose. I went for an A pose with the arms extended so that you could kind of see the outfit at a slight angle. I didn't want it to just be head on. I wanted it to be almost like a almost three fourths angle, um, but I wanted her to be able to see the full face and most of the body in the same angle. I also wasn't sure about like adding all of the details because I wasn't sure if I was going to have everything so I left her patterns and markings all there in case there was anything like crop top t-shirts or gloves or anything like that that may or may not cover it and I went for sort of like those dress up paper doll styles for this because I didn't want to be doing things too complex and taking up time by creating unique poses to match the outfits for each and every single one of them and I also temporarily took away her glasses just for the sake of the outfits because I didn't want it to interfere with some of the looks first outfit is something that I would love to wear. Most of these outfits match uh, the taste of clothing that I like, so uh, if this isn't a dead giveaway of the type of outfits that I like, I don't know what is. The first one is a nice cozy sweater that is just long enough to be a dress because I'm a short five foot four inches, so most of the shirts when I go shopping, they tend to become dresses, and I just kind of went along with it and I decided, you know what, it gives me an excuse to wear really long knee-high socks and no one can question it. <laughs> I love rainbows and poofy outfits. If a sweater has those nice cotton on the inside, I will stay in it because I like to wear layers when it's cold outside and the weather for rainy days, I think that this would be super adorable. I wasn't sure about the socks with the boots because I didn't know if I wanted knee high boots or something. So I think the one thing that I would change about this outfit is I would just give her really long long socks instead of these socks with boots, but I don't know, the rain boots with fuzzy matching this rainbow fuzzy cloud sweater I thought was a nice thing to mix together. And although I am no fashion designer, this would be an adorable outfit that I would love to have, including the little like sun headband to tie up my hair with. The second outfit is something that I've wanted to actually wear for Comic Cons, is sort of like this like sailor suit that I've seen in some animes for ladies that is also a crop top. Now I don't really like to wear crop tops in public so this would be a very interesting uh, cosplay because I don't like the wind on my stomach. Like I said, I like to wear cozy sweaters, long, and as much as I can kind of bundle up. So this would be complete opposite, but I would still try to be brave and try this kind of an outfit. I also like that these usually are pastel and the most common ones seem to be in blue and white and I just like the idea that you're wearing a crop top with a small cape and you have this big bow on your chest. I also wasn't sure what kind of shoes usually go with this but I thought I'd go for these nice slightly baggier pants that have these cute little sneaker trainers. Um, I don't actually know if that's what you call them, trainers or sneakers, but I call them sneakers. Uh, they're really soft and they have these like cushy paddings on the bottom that are really bumpy for extra support, I guess. I don't know <laughs> too much about shoe design, but then I was finishing up this illustration and I thought, what am I missing? And then I thought, oh, wait a minute, I need, I need to add her little sailor suit hat that usually comes with these. It has like a little ribbon on like the back of it. I don't really know how to describe it, but when I was trying to do some research for these outfits, I got many different sailor suits that were more for men than ladies so I had to do particular search checks to try to actually find inspiration for these outfits. I also took to Pinterest for the next couple of outfits because I wanted to get a wide variety of ideas, but the one that stuck to me was these, I think they're called overhaul overalls, uh, where you can just wear any t-shirt underneath it and you can just kind of mix and match. The ones that I find most common are actually just a simple striped shirt that you can wear underneath them. And I don't know, I just like the idea of wearing a yellow and white striped t-shirt with blue-ish denim overalls. Yes, I also included the giant pocket in the front because I think that that's a staple of this type of outfit. 
I also wanted it to go all the way down to the floor. There are shorts versions of overalls, but I don't really like them. I don't know, I just like the idea of this is an absolute gardening outfit that I would have. But one little touch that I would add that I think Vixie would also add if she could is sew on or iron on patches. I loved these as a kid and wanted these and I was that kid who took a sharpie to my pants and started drawing on them and got in trouble because it wouldn't wash off. It was fun, and I just, I like the idea of adding little sparkles, stars, and hearts to any denim outfits, which includes buttons and pins, which is my go-to when I go to conventions, because it's something that I can add to my denim jackets or anything like that. The next outfit was actually something pretty simple. I just love this raincoat that I used to have as a kid that was sort of like a plastic fabric on the outside, but this soft cotton fuzz on the inside to keep me warm. One difference to this outfit that I added though is it was basically a poncho dress, so it didn't have sleeves for some reason. Uh, this one, I added sleeves that had these little holes where the thumbs go. I've seen these on some outfits all throughout my high school. Kids would do that to their jackets or sweaters, and they would just cut a hole for their thumb if it wasn't already uh, designed that way. If I could have these outfits, I would have loved to wear these throughout middle and high school, but I was one of those kids who had most of my clothes pre-selected for me, so I didn't get to wear clothes like these, but now that I'm an adult, no one can stop me from wearing these outfits. The next two outfits I went for something simple, but I was also kind of stuck. I wasn't running out of outfits per se, because I just started, but I was trying to figure out if I wanted to go down a cute route a fancy route, or some of those odd modern dresses that look like somebody stuck a mattress and a pool floaty together. Uh, so I went for uh, anime outfits for inspiration, and also Comic-Con outfits again, and maids dresses were one that popped out a lot. So I decided to give her one that had that little like maids headband with these little cute earrings that I'd see on some of them, and some that have sort of like an apron attached to it with extra frills. Um, I don't know if all of these made outfits uh, that they have to have extreme frills, but I decided not to add like six layers like she was wearing a ball gown. Um, I just decided to add the, uh, the first layer and then an apron, and I decided to give her gloves. Uh, that's something I didn't add for any of the other outfits that I thought would be a nice touch, is to kind of just cover them with these poofy sleeves uh, and poofy frills on the wrist bits and a little paw print on the apron. The next outfit is really simple. I was doing uh, swimsuit searches, but most of the swimsuits that I looked for for frame of reference just look like a couple pieces of string, and I thought, why why is it that two-piece bathing suits have to be so popularized when once one-piece bathing suits are comfy and more practical? <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but I would prefer if I went swimming in the ocean to have a full-piece suit so that seaweed doesn't get stuck where the sun don't shine, uh, but also it's just kind of nice with the patterns. I also don't like the fact that some of them just look like they went through those random print boards and they just slapped on a bunch of like flowers or those weird designs. So polka dots it was, and I debated adding a pool floaty, but because of her particular pose that was one downside, it just didn't fit this outfit. Overall, I'm getting a mix of spring and summer outfits together with this, so the next outfits that I came up with, I thought I needed to go big or go home when it came to adding detail because the next pair of outfits that I'll do in my next video is going to be more practical use outfits, such as perhaps armor or other types of fantasy garbs that she could wear depending on the era. I might do a study of some cottagecore outfits as well and mix and match her wearing something that might be made out of leaves and flowers and mushrooms. But I started this outfit with no pattern in mind whatsoever and seamstresses would probably be cringing at me because they would be like, that's not how that works. But this is just a fun little artsy outfit that I thought would look sort of like a mix of villainous and ball gown but masquerade ball, uh, one that was fit to her figure and she has a little bit of that fishnet stocking connecting it. I will admit I probably could have did something a little nicer for the lower half but I ran out of ideas until I thought of the masquerade edition of hiding her facial expressions with a narrow mask that made it look like she was glaring and staring into your soul, and one of those cute little feather attachments that I've seen on some headpieces rather than a full-blown like face mask and crown. But speaking of crowns, I thought I need to give her a big 
king robe because I want one of these myself someday. They look so comfy because they're made out of usually like a red velvet fabric and big puffy cotton silk fabrics. I don't know. I just wanted to give her something that looked regal and royal and when I tried to search up, uh, I found a lot of them that just had this nice little like, I think it's like a cinched or a button chest piece and these little fancy loops that are made out of different fabrics um but then it came to the skirting piece because i thought oh i'll give her a dress i i went and fixed this later on in the video i took away the layers because she just looks like she has a particular split where the sun don't shine in this particular outfit and it just doesn't look right i kept the shoes simple and did those jewel encrusted heels that i've seen i don't like heels that are really tall stilettos uh i prefer the flat chunky heels because they just seem like more practical and you can walk better in them and of course i gave her a nice tall crown the one thing that i did change uh about the outfit as I mentioned was the hip piece here because I was having difficulty and I actually liked what I did with the see-through clear lace bits uh, where it covers over as an extra little fancy frilly pattern for this sort of king's dress um, and I was debating on whether or not I wanted it to be black, white, and gold or white, gold, and black. Like the amount of color I went with the uh, I think it's called like the 60 30 10 rule of color in case you're having difficulty picking out a palette but i wound up with the white with gold with a little bit of accents of black and gray but the red was something i was debating trying to fit in but because the cape is already so big and red it just didn't fit so uh, once again like i mentioned i was also trying to change it to purple because she just doesn't look good in it but i stayed persistent made a few adjustments erased uh, to make the under outfit attached as a one piece and then the silky uh, black belt part attached with it. I hope I'm describing this well enough because the visuals on screen should be more than enough but I tried to make it look like it was all lacy and I decided to go back in actually and add some texture to the dress itself because it just seemed like it needed just an extra little oomph because it wasn't fancy enough i think for vixie but overall out of all of these outfits the kingly outfit and the first cloud outfit are my favorites let me know what you guys think of these outfits if there's anything that you would make adjustments or changes to these outfits and if you like today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see more of my videos i post twice a week usually on wednesdays and sundays and bonus videos on fridays here's some videos on screen go check them out and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!